ladies and gentlemen, thank you and good afternoon for part two of Rock the Rink here at Thompson Arena. If you're around for the action earlier, you saw your Western Mustangs unfortunately get their first loss ever in the season of 2014-15 right here at Thompson Arena as they got battled out by the Carlton Ravens by a score of 5-2. to two. But the women's team are not only are they undefeated here at Thompson Arena, Mike, during regulation, they're undefeated in the whole 2014-15 season in regulation with a 12-0-2 record going up against the Laurentian Voyagers who enter this game with a 2-9-4 record, a heart-wrenching loss for these Laurentian Voyagers last night at South Windsor Arena as they lost 5-4 to the Lancers in a shootout. Yeah, and we're coming in, and they're coming off a back-to-back, -back, whereas the Mustangs got some fresh legs. They're coming up. It's going to be their first game of the new year. Laura Deller, a Woodstock, Ontario native, probably has mom and dad in the stands, enters 1-4-3 with a 2.33 goals against average and a 9.72 save percentage. She played three seasons for the Waterloo Rangers in the PWHL, posting a career 18-18-4 record with two shutouts and a 2.32 goals against average. Mustangs, Voyagers, it's all going down right now on Mustangs TV. Barring the clock being set there, Mike, because we're going to have to redo the face-off. St. Charles, Illinois, during her three years in Lindenwood, she scored 26 goals, 33 assists, for a team leading uh, in her final season with nine goals and 11 assists. Chance for the Mustangs, and they score! A four-on-four goal for the Western Mustangs. Only five seconds remains in the period, and Brianna Isolano buries the biscuit, her fifth goal of the season, and her 11th point of the year. Yeah, you talk about Brianna Isolano from the point. That makes it four goals in her last four games. The Athens lead. Brianna Eisling only had one goal in 26 games during her rookie season. She led all blue liners for the Mustangs in goals last season with five. And now she's got her fifth here for the Western Mustangs with only five seconds remaining in the first period of play. It's Rock the Rank. Michael DiStefano, yours truly, Johnny Urban. We have Tyler Warren at ice level right now. Little girls. Back up to you guys in the booth. I told you I love that. Rock the rink. And you got the kids out there. The whole family's here. And they're just celebrating with the Western Mustangs as they're up one to nothing here after one. I knew that Tyler was a ladies' man, but that was just proof in the pudding right there, Michael. Brianna Isolino has it a one nothing game so far for your Western Mustangs after 20 minutes of play. That was our own Tyler Warren with Nicole French, a defenseman who is still pointless over her first 14 games of the season, but looking to get on the score sheet this afternoon. Rock the rink. Tyler, Mike, and yours truly, Johnny Urban, taking you through. We actually have a sit-down interview with Coach uh, Chris Higgins of the Western Mustangs women's hockey program during the intermission break. Three seasons that she played for Waterloo. And being from Woodstock, I would imagine, because Laurentian's a bit further of a trip, that Mama and Papa Bear would be down. And there's a goal by the Mustangs! 11-13 remains here in the second period of play. Allie Galloway from Kendra Broad. We'll have to see what the officials say. Regardless, it's a 2-0 game for the Stangs. I think it was Broad who pounced on the rebound here. You're so right. Kendra Broad will get the well, she'll get the goal. Kendra Broad, 10th of the season. And that leads the Western Mustangs. As we get a look from here, Allie Bears went to the net and Kendra Broad right there on the doorstep. Puts it in the back of the net. Team. They sit at a two-goal lead now for the Mustangs. Team leading 10th goal on the season, their 16th point, and I guess that just means I got to eat more carrots, Mike. I thought that was 17, not 12, and you were right the whole time. Kendra Broad getting her team leading 10th goal of the season in only her 15th game, extending the Mustangs' lead to 2 nothing into Laurentian territory. Pearson with a pass. She's going to take a shot. Rebounds there. Cassie goes, and then they score! Sid the kid! Sydney Kidd threw her body at the rebound. It hit off of her, and regardless, she's got her fifth goal of the season, a power play marker, only her second power play goal of the year. And with 31 seconds remaining in the second period, the Mustangs have made it 3 0. Sydney Kidd, defenseman turned forward, really shows that this is why she is now a forward. She's got a nose for the net, she goes straight to the net. And what I talked about earlier, Emma Pearson. Emma
Emmett Pierce will draw an assist on that, takes the shot on goal, and then there was uh, Sydney Kidd right there to put away the rebound. What do we know? We've got a 3 nothing lead, and they convert on the power play. It's the timing of these goals, Mike, that are the real killer for Stacey Colarossi and the rest of the Laurentian coaching staff. They get scored on with five seconds remaining in the first period to trail one nothing. as Kelly Campbell had to be sharp there as there was a loose puck coming into her blue paint. She holds on to it with 11 seconds remaining in this uh, second period of play. But then Sydney Kitt scores there with 30 seconds remaining in the period. So you go to the locker room after, you know, five seconds prior, a girl scored against you. Now you're going to go to the locker room where 30 seconds prior, a Western Mustang scored against you. So it's the timing of these goals that are the real, you know, twisting of the knife, if you will, for Colorossi and this Laurentian coaching staff. The buzzer goes as the puck goes into the near corner. So after 40 minutes of play, the Western Mustangs have a 3-0 lead. Kelly Campbell has stood tall like a brick wall throughout the majority of this one. She hasn't had too many threats against her, Mike, but anything she's seen, she stopped. Megan Taylor, unfortunately, though, pointless over the first 14 games of the season, entering her 15th contest tonight, speaking with her own Tyler Warren at ice level. The score is 3-0 after 40 minutes of play between your Western Mustangs and the Laurentian Voyagers right here at Rock the Rink at Thompson Arena. So for Mike Tyler and yours truly, Johnny Urban, we'll catch you around for the third period of play. One minute remains in the game for the Western Mustangs, though. 25 seconds of five on four hockey, and there's gonna be another penalty. The Mustangs are giving the cold shoulder right now to these Laurentian Voyagers, but the officials are catching it each time, and Caitlin Gosinger going to the penalty box. You predicted this, Michael. I'm blaming you. Six on three hockey coming up in favor of the Laurentian Voyagers. Well, there's only 52 seconds as opposed to 10 minutes to climb back from the three nothing lead. It's pretty hard. Uh, for the Laurentian Voyagers to score! Maggie Brennan took the shot. It was redeflected on their way to Kelly Campbell. Six on three, and the Laurentian Voyagers make them pay with 46 seconds remaining in the game. Pearson, Lassus, Galloway go out against Vermin, Stats, Leger, Brazil, Brennan, and the captain in Hibbert. 26 seconds remains in the game. Battling for the faceoff, Laurentian comes away with it. Back to the blue line to Brennan. Over to her teammate. Trying to cross the ice. That went off of a skate. Centered right out in front, behind the western net now. Another centering pass. A chance here for Stats. Campbell didn't know where it was. 10 seconds remains in the game. Put through Kelly Campbell's paint. Stats goes back to the blue line. Brennan's going to fake his slap shot. Go to Stats. Back to Brennan. Brennan takes the shot. It misses wide. The buzzer goes. Western wins. Western wins. They take this game by a score of three to one. And the Western Mustangs go one for one during Rock the Rink. You know, John, I was getting a little worried there. Go Mustangs! Down here with Kelly Campbell. I'm Tyler Warren. Back with you guys in the booth. Thank you very much, Tyler Warren. That is our ice level commentator with the St. Thomas net miner, Kelly Campbell. No, she didn't get her third shot out of the season. She came a little shy on that one. But the one thing I noticed at the end of the day, still a beautiful smile from ear to ear. Yeah, most certainly Kelly Campbell once again stood on her head, had a terrific game for the Western Mustangs. Wasn't tested all too much in the first two periods, but definitely was strong when she came down to it in the final period and really closed it out strong in the final minute where it seemed like the Laurentian Voyageurs were really peppering her and really coming on hard. Brianna Isolino scored with only five seconds remaining in the first period of play. Kendra Broad would score in the second. Emma Pearson would score with only 30 seconds remaining in the second period of play. Laurentian would get the lone goal of the third period to give us a final of 3-1 on your Saturday afternoon. For Tyler Warren on ice level, Michael DiStefano, our camera crew, and our buddies in the studio. I am John Urban. Thank you for tuning in to Mustangs TV on your Saturday afternoon for Rock the Rink. Unfortunately, the men's team lost 5-2 to the Carlton Ravens to get their first ever loss here at Tom's Arena during the 2014-15 season. But the ladies made up for it with a 3-1 win over the Laurentian Voyagers to improve to 13-0-2. Still undefeated during regulation time. So, for everybody from Tops Arena, we will catch you tomorrow for more OUA women's hockey action against the Nipissing Lakers right here on Mustangs TV.